Toy break. Toy break. Toy break. Hi, welcome to Toy Break, episode 71. I'm Aileen. I am not a journalist. <laughs> and this is your weekly toy podcast and internet video show about toys, designer vinyl, action figures, shows, events, how-tos, you name it, we cover it in toys. So let's start off with a reminder about the current contest, which is the Billy Sin Contest. Two lucky winners will each win one of these handmade, hand-cast, hand-painted Billy Sin figures by N Reason. To enter, visit nreason.com and check out the Where's Billy image. Then leave a comment in our forum with the number of Billies that you find. It's a lot like Where's Waldo. Only oh, Where's, where's Billy. Billy. The deadline is April 1st, so hurry and get those submissions and get to counting. You said it. <laughs> I did. Also, remember we have the Neil Wynn Project, NWP for short. Vote for your favorite design and watch as we chronicle the progress from design to finish resin piece. Vote in the Toy Break Forum by April 1st. Right now the voting is which guy do you want to see sculpted? Yes. Um, we will vote along the way for different things, maybe uh, the color of the thing or maybe the guy's name. Yes. Someone mentioned today Ooh, we should start thinking about a name. I like that. Um, Right now, number three, as we record this, is, is way, in the lead. way in the lead, but don't be discouraged. Uh, it might change by the time if you if you get your friends to vote. Yeah, tell your friends. Let them vote, Tell too. everybody. Um, so let's see what happens. That's gonna be, I like the voting for a na name. That should be fun. Yeah, so maybe people should start coming up with names. Yes, start coming up with names. <laughs> and we will have Neil back soon to talk more about the project and talk about the winner and the next steps. Neil back. The most delicious <laughs> part of a Neil. Only when it's fried. Sliced perfectly. thin. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Kneel back. So let's thank our sponsors. FuzzyBallsApparel.com 3DRetro.com And PanicsToyBox.com Head on over to ToyBreak.com and click on the links over to the left of our sponsors and support them because they're helping support the show. Exactly. We also have a few voicemails to play for you. Let's play them. Let's start them off. Hi, this is Doug from New York, I mean, from Florida. Um, I was wondering um, if you guys could talk a little bit on your next show about the DC Universe line, and I know you guys are kind of tight with the Horsemen, and I was wondering if the if they're kind of overworking themselves with the Ghostbusters and with the Seven Kingdoms and all that, and maybe if the work is going to suffer from it. I mean, it's only a few of them, and you know, maybe they need a larger staff or something. Okay, awesome show. Love you guys. Thanks. Bye. Do the horsemen need a larger staff? <laughs> that could be taken. Who doesn't too need a large staff? <laughs> There's commercials for that late there night are. on TV. <laughs> Extends if you need a larger staff. <gasps> Ting. Bleep that out when I say it. <laughs> uh, so we got in contact with the horseman, as we usually in do. In particular, Corn Boy. And let's hear his response. Hey, Doug from New York. I mean, Florida. Well, uh, we're definitely very busy, but I wouldn't say we're overworked just yet. For some reason, we seem to, to flourish and uh, work better together when we're kind of super busy and on, uh, under a tight deadline. Um, it's kind of been that way ever since we worked back at McFarland Toys. There were days that we would be there, you know, times we were there for two or three days straight with no sleep. I'm sure George remembers those days. Um, we occasionally do get help from outside sources, though. From time to time, uh, we have friends in the industry that we've known for years that we can trust to get the job done right and on time and uh, up to our standards. Um, George and Aileen and Matt have actually helped us out a couple of times. Uh, we sometimes work with uh, Bill Mancuso, who we consider one of the most underrated sculptors in the industry, and uh, the extremely talented Eddie Wires has even done a couple of paint masters for us when we've been, you know, under the gun. Um, keep in mind that when it comes to the Motu Classic stuff, Masters of the Universe Classics, we're reusing a lot of uh, parts. And uh, so even though, you know, we have to do one or two of those a month sometimes, not counting exclusives and extras, it's usually only head armor and accessories we have to use those, uh, do for those. So, um, you know, at this point that makes things a lot easier. Um, but uh, other than that, you know, we're not, we're not too overworked. It's, uh, you know, due to the coffee, Mountain Dew, and Taco Bell runs, it's keeping, us, keeping our heads above water. So don't worry about us. We're, we're doing good. All right, George, Aileen, part-timer Matt, take care, you cheeky minkies. CB out. 
uh, Mountain Dew and Taco Bell, Breakfast of Champions. Yep, that's the way to do it. So I guess we're not really going to talk about any of the uh, figures he wanted us to talk about. We can talk about DC Classics at a later date. I would like to have them in hand. Yeah, we don't really have any of them. We have a couple figures that we own personally, but we don't have a I whole believe, lot of them, so we'll have to get a few more before I we... I believe there's another wave out since okay. the ones we bought. So let's uh, let's get a few more of those together first, and then we'll maybe put up, put those on a show and talk about them. We will get back to those, though. So, but Doug, if you have any uh, recommendations, head over to the forum and let us know which ones to pick up, which one's your favorites. and Whether you're in New York or Florida. Yeah, wherever, you, wherever you're at, New York, Florida. <laughs> but thank you for calling, and I hope Cornboy answered your question. I think that pretty much... I think we all kind of thrive under a little bit of pressure. It takes deadlines. Deadline. It takes deadlines to get anything done. It's hard to motivate yourself sometimes. Yeah. But it's definitely um, kind of the way things work in the toy industry. Everybody sort of networks out. So even if your group has the capability of doing it, you might have too many projects coming in or something else going on. So then you, I'm going to say the term farm out, but that's not really appropriate. You subcontract? Freelance out. Freelance out. We need a better term for that. It all sounds bad for some reason so but there's definitely an, everybody has their own network of people that they use like cornboy was talking about so thank you doug for calling and thank you cornboy for taking the time to answer doug from new york and florida's question news news boop, 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 boop. <laughs> news i have more toys than your kid's shirt than your kid's shirt than your kid's shirt yeah that didn't come up right if i had a kid and he had a shirt i don't think that shirt would have any toys <laughs> this is from roto fuji and formula works it's a yeah. Speaking of Roto Fuji shirts, awesome. Love the smell of vinyl. It's a build your own shirt, which means you get to choose the color of the shirt and the color of the text. And it's only $25 over at rotofuji.com. And it says, I have more toys than your kids. And I think that that's an awesome shirt. Great slogan. <laughs> I want one. In purple, of course. I gotta go get one. Go get one. What color text, though? Hmm. How about Blindsided by Jeremy Broutman? This is an interesting five-part... Is it Broutman? Is that how you say that? I would say Broutman. Okay. I'm sorry if I screwed but up your But you can say it however name. you like. I'm just going to say Jeremy. Ooh, that's better. So this is an interesting five-part conversation on toysite.com. That's site with a C-Y. Um, that discusses the pros and cons of blind box from the perspective of toy companies, toy fans, toy stores, toy artists, and toy bloggers. So go check it out at toysite.com. Again, just click on the link below if you're watching this on toybreak.com. Oh, yes, which you could be because it's larger on toybreak.com. So if you're used to watching it on Blip, still watch it on Blip if you feel like it. But if you go to toybreak.com. Watch it directly on the site, and then you can just click on the notes right as, you're, That's right as we're saying it. That's fancy. As I'm talking with my finger. <laughs> notes. But that's an interesting article, investigate, investigatory piece about blind boxes and their role in the designer vinyl community. Well, not just vinyl, designer toy community today. True. I thought it was a cool idea. Squad's Nozzle S1. Squat. Squat. Just say squad. I put a Z there squat. for some reason. Squat Nozzle. Squat Nozzle. <laughs> squat Nozzle. Say it three times fast. Squat Nozzle, Squat Nozzle, Squat Nozzle. <laughs> squat Nozzle S1 by Jamungo, Releasing at noon Central Standard Time on March 30th, this six-inch vinyl figure is limited to 100 pieces and comes with cloth parka, two sets of arms, gun, and removable helmet. It is $65, including shipping. And hopefully, if you're watching this the day it comes out, it may have already come out. Hopefully, it's not sold out. If it is, sorry. But hey, there it is. <laughs> it's an interesting piece to watch for. And if it's still there, go get it, because it looks awesome. I know. I can't wait to see this one. Blind box? Blind box. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! Today we have Sunny Angel. This These. is a minifigure by, it's an Animal Series version 2. Who are these by? These are by Dreams Inc. Dreams6.com. Uh -huh. um, this is probably straight up from Japan somewhere or something like that. It's basically a Cupid doll with animal mask on its head. But it's got the greatest little line over here on the side. He may bring the happiness to you? Exclamation question? <laughs> Let's find your favorite animal. Okay, so, so which one do you want? This is the one, the series we got here, it's, like I said, it's Animals Series Version 2. Yes. And it has a bunch of different animal heads. I think we got Animal Series, yeah, Version 1.5 we'll also. We'll open that one second. Um, Matt, you want to open this one? Okay. 
Uh, so this is version two. I want the deer. The reindeer? The Yeah, the reindeer or the cow. I want the pig. I think the reindeer or the cow is what I want here. I want the pig or the urubu, only because I'm not really sure what an urubu is. Let's do it. But it looks cute. We picked these up at Red Hot Robot in Ooh. Arizona while we were there. You can actually still get them at redhotrobot.net. They are $8 a piece. Not bad for a little blind box. Ooh. So it comes with a little... Wow, there's a lot of these things. Yeah. There's t-shirt guys, there's fruit heads, there's other animals. So they are not blind bagged inside, they are just bubble wrapped. There's vegetable heads. <gasps> what is... What is this? You, you might want to trade with me. Okay. I don't know what that hmm, is. Hmm, I, I wonder what tell. I got. Oh, you can't. I think I, I got that. I can't tell what it is. Wow, these are taped really tough. What did I get that you really got that I got now? <laughs> Look at that, the reindeer. I got, ooh, a mouse. He's kind of a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because he's a red nose. Oh, oh look, they have... They're anatomically correct. They have tiny... Wow, they got balls, too. They got tiny penis and balls <sighs> wow. sculpted into there. Tiny. Awkwardly nude. They've got butts. That was last year, awkwardly nude. Uh, it's coming back. It's making a big. It's making a big comeback. They've got fat little baby butts. I'll have to stand him next to our bum Do you have rush. Wings? He's got little wings. They have little tiny angel wings sculpted on the back. I can't believe it's got balls too. Like they, <laughs> it's not just like it's got the separation. It's got the penis, and the ball line. It actually more looks like three balls. Let's be fair. Well, it's a it's a nub of a penis, but it is a baby <laughs> penis after all. But it's got the ball line. Like they put that in there. That's love awesome. It. How great is that? Um, just one point of articulation, the head turns. The head, obviously, it's made in a separate piece, comes off real easy. But it's cute, it's like... Which one did you get there? I got the mouse. That's cute, mousey, I like mousey. these. I like the little reindeer one with the horns. Oh, their faces are so creepy with their little, like, almost nondescript I'm going to quickly open smile. up this one, too, just to Wait see. a minute, which one do you want? Uh, the monkey. I really want the panda. Okay. Make it the panda. Make it so. <laughs> it's neither. Oh, which one? Where'd you throw that? Which one is it? It's green. It's green. It's a frog. Frog. Oh, awesome. Wow. So let's see. Does the body change at all from these? No, it's the same figure in each one. Just new heads on each one. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Rubbing its belly button. I don't... Don't do that. That's okay? Yeah, don't... Or it's not no, okay? No, it's not okay. Don't do that. These are interesting little figures. I actually really like them. Yeah, they're actually kind of cute. On quality side, um, it's not terribly bad, but there is a giant seam line running down one side. Yeah. Actually, both well, obviously both sides, but... It's PVC. Look at the little, like, there's little dimples in the, in fingers, the fingers where the knuckles are. That little short baby fingers. He's got a little belly button sculpted in. As I've said, he's got the little ball crease. His little feet pointed in just slightly. Doesn't smell very good. These don't smell bad. I don't know. It's cute. Cute figures. I actually kind of like these. It's definitely unique. How much were these? They were Eight relatively dollars. cheap. Yeah, that's not bad. And it's a solid feeling little piece. It's a nice solid PVC. There's a lot of them, though. If you try to collect these things, holy cow. Yeah, there's a bunch. Animal heads and f the fruit heads, I'm not really sure I understand. But, okay. There's like 13 in each one. Oh, oh there's a cock. What? Excuse me? It's a, like a... <laughs> Chicken, a male okay. chicken. This one, there's a shiitake mushroom head is the secret one for the oh. fruit heads. Or vegetable heads. <laughs> oh, oh, and then there's a t-shirt series where they have, I wasn't kidding, where they have um, little t-shirts on their awkwardly nude body. And then just regular plain baby heads. Cupid doll heads. Interesting. What a weird bunch of figures. Sunny Angel minifigures. All right. Cool. cool. I kind of like those. Something new. Let's get into reviews. Let's do it. Reviews. Reviews. Up first. How do you say this? Calavera. Calavera. Survives in Chilangolandia. Born on a tombstone in Mixquique. So this is from Humberto <laughs> Ramos and Francisco Herrera. I really hope I said those both correctly. Although, Francisco, that's fun to say. Sculpted it's... by Chucho Rojas. This is a seven and a half inch vinyl figure. It's the first toy collaboration between these two artists. And just so you know, Calavera 
is Spanish for skull. Oh, okay. Did you know that? I did not know that. See, it's like the more you know. We're going to have a lot of nudity on this episode, apparently. Well, sometimes. Um, well, while you're opening that, I would like to summarize. Why is this still sealed? I've opened this already. You have? I thought I did. I take <laughs> would I you like a knife? out once. But that's not a sharp object. It's not at all. Would you like a knife? Where's the knife? Uh, Here, I have nails. Give, just give it to me. All right, off screen here. <laughs> you see nothing. Okay, go ahead. So to summarize Calavera's backstory, he and his partner Talavera fight evil during weekdays, and then come Friday and Saturday nights, they rule the wrestling ring. Calavera gains strength from his Day of the Dead loaf and the refined sugar from the sugar skulls made by his mom. Isn't that fun? It is, and if you try and read that on the back, you're out of luck because no, there's was, more. That was, was just a short. There's more to the story, which you can find easily online at any retailer. It was very much translated by a computer, I think. I don't know. Maybe in the there's Spanish more. version, it's more. probably like it probably makes all sense. All um, sense in the in the history of the English version, English version. First of all, why does it oh. say English? It does say English. Is that an S that I just can't see? Well, it's more of a C. It's okay yeah, though. It's funny. Um, so this guy is $50, and I know that they still have him at 3dretro.com. Probably many other fine retailers. And wire ties. Um, if, you know, if you got a favorite person you buy from, have them order one. If you, yeah, absolutely. If you have a local store, um, have them contact DKE. And absolutely. When we tell you where it is, that just happens to be the place that we know to get it. Um, so or a it's, place we know to get it's it. leaching oil really First off badly. Box. First off box. I like the box. I think the art is really fun. Um, it's it's real colorful and I like kind of Day of the Dead. I like the front with its it's got the mat with the one spot shine like mine style does in all their boxes the gloss. with the gloss. Um, it's got a fun egg head Mexican mask egg head on the front, um, and then the back has the, like the illustration of the dude and then the little story. Um, I won't feel at all bad about throwing this box away, which is another thing I like about it. But it's got, I mean, the illustration of the guy is kind of cool with his big fat belly yeah. and stuff. It's but a good like, use. Now, first thing is, so this, leaching is it's bad. leaching oil really badly. So when you open it up, get, yourself a, get yourself a towel and uh, just kind of wipe it down with a paper towel. It'll be fine. Um, comes with a base. Ooh, that's fun. A real purple and black base with one little foot peg on it so he can stand up uh i don't think he needs the well he does now if you get the yeah, he doesn't he doesn't need the base to stand but i guess it's an extra bonus i'll probably end up not using that it's a little bit large but about the figure i, I think it's think? i like it i think it's cool i like the sculpting style um i like the giant fat belly on him and the belly button. And it's... Oh, don't touch it. Don't touch it. He's got an Audi. Ugh. Ugh. Wow. He's cool. Good. I like his... I mean, he's got... One of his shoes is untied. I mean, there's good sculpting detail down to that. Like, one's laced all the way up. One of his shoes is untied. For some reason, he crosses his laces on this side. On this side, he goes straight across. Eh, you know. That's how you do it some days. That's just weird. Um, and he's in his wrestler getup. In his, yeah, his little wrestler Although outfit. that might also be how he fights evil. Nacho! <laughs> um, I, I don't know, it's cool. I like this. Uh, on the back, the sculpting of his um, cape is kind of like, a, it's more like a, what are those things called? Doily? Like a, a lace. It's got like a lace doily cape. I was going to go with spider web, but I guess you could say doily. Um, and it says has Calavera. His name, yeah, it has his name in it. And his, you know, his hood is all laced up in the back. I, this is cool. I like this guy. I like Mexican wrestling stuff, though, so I'm partial to it. What do you think? I really like the overall look of the figure and the mask, like the big arms, you know, sort of oversized for what he is. And I, I'm a sucker for anything with nipples for some reason. I like them. Okay. I think they're funny, but I really like his expression with his mask. Like he's got a mask on, but he still has an expression. He's kind of sad, kind of distressed almost. And he's got sort of hollow eyes. Yeah. I really like that. And he's got his name up there, too. He likes people to know who he is. Hey, why not? It's funny, like, 
the whole box is in Spanish and English, but it's very like weird. Like it's it's mistranslated, but not you know. I don't know if it's just I don't know why or whatever. But like can't get this peg. It's just yet. funny. Might need a uh, pliers. To get yeah, we'll the just pull peg it out. out. <laughs> Calavera can lift his own weight and leap twice into the air. Calavera has fought twice. life after death creatures. He fights uh, evil, like uh, like he fights the undead. Yes. But like, it's just funny because it says Calavera has fought life after death creatures. <laughs> uh, it's just such a note, literal translation of the words, probably. Might also note no articulation. Yeah, just a statue. Just a statue. Uh, what do you think of the paint? I mean, it's generally it's generally pretty good. It doesn't seem. I mean, it's a little bit a little bit messy here and there, but. Especially like around the tough to reach spots, it got a little messy. The neck is the only place that I saw that was just a little bit messy, but not enough to stop me from buying the figure at all. Yeah, I mean, when you're sitting on your shelf, it's not terrible, but I mean, yeah, it is around the neck area. It's a bit, of, it's a bit of a slop. Fifty bucks. Uh, it's pretty good. There's a lot of paint. Yeah, I mean, it, the for, sculpting is really nice. The price is fun. the price is okay Stylized for the size sculpting. for the size figure you're getting. How seven and a half, seven, seven and a half inch. Is <laughs> seven and a half inches. I would I would say I could do without the base. Some people um, like bases, but some yeah, some people probably do. I don't know. It's cool. I like it. I like the color scheme. I like the figure. I've heard the name Umberto Ramos before. I don't know why. I just said it a few minutes ago. No, I know, but like, is he a sculptor? Is he? Is he? Do you know who that is? No. Like I said, I'm not a journalist. I'm not looking it up. Do it yourself. We'll bring it to you. <laughs> um, so cool. there was Calavera. I like that guy. Next up, Wild Grinders. Bye, Wild Grinders. <laughs> is it really? It's true. Wild Grinders by Wild Grinders. Wild Grinders. LLC. All right. Uh, Wild <laughs> Grinders is Rob Deerdick's company, apparently. One of what? Rob Deerdick's. Rob? If you don't know who Rob Deerdick is, um, he's a pro skateboarder. Who has kind of he levied, up on him, MTV. levied himself into a TV personality on MTV um, with the first the hit show Robin Big, um, three seasons I think of that show, wow. and now uh, Rob Deerdick's fantasy, fantasy Factory, Fantasy Factory, and man, if you are not watching that show, you got to be watching that show. But the problem with that show is it just makes you so jealous because you're like, I want. A big warehouse where I can have a foam pit that I can just drive things yeah, like, into. And at the flip, same time just, as you want to punch and a Rob line. for having everything he has, you just want to hang out with him because he's like <laughs> he seems like the most fun dude. Um, but the cool thing is he's into toys. I mean that's awesome. If you've seen the show, you've seen episodes where he has uh, the cause stormtrooper on his desk, yeah, in his office. So like you know he's into toys. He's he's a fan of them anyway. Um, so he decided to try his hand at making his own toys. Um, these are. In the same vein as Tech Deck, uh, Tech Deck toys, but unfortunately, um, Rob is not going to see this. I'm sure, but if he does, I'm sorry, Rob. Uh, your skateboards are a little bit shittier than Tech Deck. Um, I don't know. I, the feel of them is just they're a little thicker or something, or they're they feel it feels more like a toy than a miniature skateboard. It feels cheap. That makes yeah, sense. exactly. Tech Decks do they do seem like miniature skateboards? They're like almost the right scale, scaled down. These are mm -hmm. just like a bit. If you scaled this up to a skateboard, you'd be riding like a four-inch thick skateboard. And, and this is very rounded. Well, that, that's everywhere. a style of like an old-school board. I don't mind that board. It's just weirdly, but like, it weirdly just feels proportioned. Weird. And the figures, I don't know, Rob, who you're getting to sculpt these figures, but good God, they look like they were done. In, Out of mashed potatoes. They were they, obviously they were sculpted <laughs> in China by a factory who got art to just here's like here's the picture and just sculpt this there's no love in these at all like there's no hand touch of like someone who cares about the the scene or what's going on um they oh, oh, go ahead. they definitely need to be if you're going to keep this line going or if the line's going to stay there needs to be some love brought into this and like kind of up the ante a little bit on these figures um there's what is there one two three four five six so guys wave one includes little rob Meaty, JJ, Emo Chris, Jackknife, and Spitball. I, and they're just so stupid looking. Like the figures themselves. Yeah. We I got Meaty because if you watch the show, Meaty's <laughs> all about it's all about Meaty. And, and now, beefy. And now Beefy in the meaty new shows. And beefy. 
He didn't have beefy when he made these. That's though. true. That's true. Um, Look at him. And they have little magnets in their feet, and the boards have little magnets in them. But I just noticed this magnet is loose in oh. this foot. So if I were you, glue, I would go buy these before they get recalled, because this is gonna. There's gonna be a recall on this. There's no way that this is gonna be allowed to re keep in the market like that. It's possible. Um, especially because these are a Walmart exclusive. And if magnets are falling out of the feet at Walmart, they're, it's going to get out quick, and these are going to get recalled. You might have just let the cat out of the beefy out of the bag. Might have let the, the beefy out of the bag. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you're going to want these, get them now, because I guarantee by the end of the year, these things, if someone finds out that magnets are falling out, they're getting recalled. These are definitely, and I'm judging just by the media and the ones I've seen in the store, they have a mass market feel with the seam lines, and it's just got the one point of articulation. Not a lot of paint, so, you know, the paint's fine, whatever. I mean, And the paint white. that is there is kind of shitty. Like, his mouth is not real... The paint's not real lined up And in there's there some nasty sprue marks. Yeah. On the back legs. But, what are you going to do? It, it is their first line of toys. Yeah, I think they so can get better. So, hopefully they'll grow. I would have rather have seen them license something with Tech Deck and, and work with Tech oh, Deck to get great. a better board. They're so close in style to the Tech Deck dudes. I'm not really sure why they didn't... I'm sure he Work wanted to get his own. Maybe they didn't want to license it with him. But, Maybe. I mean, Meaty on a skateboard is awesome. If you've seen the show, he rides a little skateboard sometimes. Um, so, I don't know. It's They're fun. Uh, maybe I'll get one of the guys just to see what they're like, too. One other the problem? They're about $7. Yeah. A little tiny bit high for me for a Walmart toy. Yeah, I mean... Five dollars is more than the okay. I, I'll pay that. Five dollars, I probably would have bought one of the dudes anyway, right away. Mm -hmm. But they're so like the guys themselves have so little style to them that they're they're just like straight like stiff armed and like there's no that's not skateboarding. Who skateboards like this? I totally do. That's true. You do have seen you. <laughs> but you can check out more at wildgrinders.com and Rob, if you're watching, contact us. We'll make toys for you. Yeah, we'll sculpt these better than this, dude. Come on. <laughs> All right, wildgrinders.com, and moving on to another review. These are um, Star Wars vinyl squeaky toys. Do they oh, really yeah. call them squeaky? Is it, say it on the well, box. Well, it doesn't really have a name. Let's not call them squeaky, because that take, that makes... It doesn't have a name. It seems like a dog toy when you call it a squeaky. Well, let's look at them. These are by Disney, you know, straight up sold at the parks in both Orlando and California. Um... We have to say thank you to Ben for thank picking you, these ben. up while he was in uh, while, while he was Disney in Disney World. World. Um, thought you. of us obviously because there is a Boba Fett. Boba in Fett. There. Boba Fett. Where? So they do squeak. <laughs> There's seven figures in the set, including Darth Vader, Yoda, C-3PO, R2, Chewbacca, Clone Trooper, and Boba Fett. Now, why on earth they put a Clone Trooper instead of a regular Storm Trooper? Here's the thing. I don't know. It is a Storm Trooper. It's at the Clone Trooper helmet though. Well, I can tell you why. Because kids don't know what a clone tro or what a stormtrooper is. That's true. They That's watch probably why. the Clone Wars and they know what clone troopers are. Although it looks the color wise. Then they don't know like, what a Chewbacca is either. Then. Uh, I can't do the. <laughs> now these. Th first of all, I'd say. Uh, obviously, I like the Boba Fett because it's Boba Fett. He's gonna go on my shelf for the Boba Fett collection. Say Boba Fett again. Boba Fett. <laughs> But my my second favorite in the set has got to be this awesome Chewbacca. Oh, his head is so awesome. So, but he's awesome. I mean, he's got his bow cast blaster, and look at his little happy face. He's so excited to be here. The paint is completely awful, but they're pool toys. I mean, really. They're like for kids in bath time. Yeah. R2. Whoa, Yoda's cross-eyed. Oh, he kind of is. That's sad. <laughs> Look at his lightsaber. It's so awful. Like, uh, uh, Look at his ears. They're okay, so awful, but, but they're great. But in being awful, they're somehow awesome. Yeah. They like These are the toys that have gone... Darth Vader squeaks the best. All the way around. Yeah? Good? Yeah. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> I'm taking it away before I go. These toys have gone all the way around from really, really terrible back to good again because they're so terrible. C-3PO has got arm plates. He's but, protected. I mean, completely square. He's even square. got his wires in the middle. Yeah. He's perfect in his terribleness. 
There's nothing really done to Arta. I mean, you can't. I guess he's a little squatter than normal, and he's a little fatter feet, but I don't All know. All connected. But they're in a good scale together. They're, these are so great in how terrible they are. I would play with these in the tub. You should go play with these in the tub. Uh, they're we'll funny. We'll put that one. We'll make that a YouTube video. But seriously, this the stormtrooper is my only disappointment in the line. Like you mean the clone trooper? I, yeah, I don't want a clone trooper. I want a stormtrooper. He's got oh. a stormtrooper blaster. I don't know. That's my. That's where they missed the boat for me. I hate the clone trooper helmets. I love the stormtrooper helmets. Everyone else is not from that. I don't think you're the market for these. Boba Fett and the clone trooper Boba weren't Fett? around. Boba Fett? Where? This, they weren't around together. Why isn't there a Han Solo in here? He was six or something. Why? He <laughs> Little baby Boba? Why wasn't there a Han Solo in here? Eh? <laughs> I think they're pretty funny. So you can pick these up at the parks or at random places online for a round. It was fun. $20. <laughs> so there you go. Pack of those. Next up, we have a cool custom of the week. Cool, cool. Cool customs of the week. Oh. This is a very cool, cool custom of the week. It is a cool, cool custom. Um, it is so cool, we don't even know what it is yet. Ooh. This is a blind box cool custom of the week. This is done by Elliot Riggs, um, who is also currently holding a... Um, custom raffle at Red Hot Robot. We actually picked this up at Red Hot Robot. We did, Red Hot Robot. And um, it's $3 to get a raffle ticket. Or... Or he made a custom set of... How many of the Dunnies were there? 20? I want to say 20 or... I think there was 20 or 25. Something... 20. Uh, wow, we are so terrible at getting information. 20 or so <laughs> custom Dunnies. And if you purchase one of these, you get a free ticket into the raffle. And the raffle, there are two prizes. First prize is a custom 8-inch Dunny. And the second prize is a custom Mecha Sad Bear. And they're both awesome. Amazing. The guy's using uh, old spawn weapons yeah. and stuff like in the custom. Like you can see the 8-inch Dunny has that cool axe. That's an old spawn weapon that like, I don't know, some of you might not have been around when that weapon came out. But <laughs> there's, uh, there's a lot of coolness going on in there. So so buy a custom, and then you could win another custom. Yeah, which is awesome. So Very we cool. decided to get one of the customs to show you here what they look like. Although, unfortunately, I think you may have to buy them in the store at Red Hot, at Red Hot Robot. But I Phoenix. think you can buy tickets online. But you can buy tickets online, redhotrobot.net. Maybe you can even get this. I don't know. If you can't, write to them and say, hey, I want one. But the drawing is May 1st for the prizes. So, and look at, I mean, this is the custom. box is all custom and everything. Like, it's shiny and, shiny and cool. Open box. it. Let's see it. Let's see what it looks like. Also, you can find out more about Elliot Riggs at myspace.com slash vinyl underscore mongrels. Oh, <laughs> it's rewrapped in a dunny bag. That's great. It's like a blind box and custom all in one. What am I going to do? Ooh. So we got a bronze and blue metallic robot dude. That's a great, like, sheen it's got all over. Very cool. I like that. I like the colors, yeah, a lot. And I think each one of these guys has a counterpart. So we got, you know, obviously ours is more blue with bronze highlights. Oh, so there should also be bronze. a bronze with blue highlight version. So if you get that one, let us know and we can, like, have a, have a play date. No. No? No. <laughs> You don't know. Don't don't know place. This feels really nice. Yeah, it's cool. Not sticky at all. And it's worth a chance to get another one. So. I know. This has got a really cool, almost like a brushed, like you know, brushed aluminum. How brushed aluminum looks. It's like that, but on the blue and bronze with an opalescent undercoating, sort of a look. Wow! Well, look at you throwing out the words. <laughs> I know words, but this is nice. This custom. was a French Dunny series? Was that, wasn't that what that was? That was a French Dunny series box. Um, the or UK. Was that UK? No, I think it's the no, French. No, that one's French. The French Dunny series box um, stickered over in this cool metallic, which is sticks with the theme. Very did metallic. Did you mention how much the customs are? I did not. I think it was $25. $25. Which is pretty reasonable so for a custom, so I think. Custom and you're getting the ticket. Yeah, so it's actually like you're paying 22 Very cool. Well, way to go. I like the idea. Awesome. Wine box customs, that's just fun. We also have some events. We do. Events. Happenings. Let's do it. Stuff events. to do. And we had 
A call a call in remind us about some events. Well, shall we listen? Let's hear it. Hi, this is Jack. I haven't called in in a while, but I'm calling in to say love the show. Um, I also wanted to give an update in regards to a show that's going to be held in the Central Florida area in Orlando. It's going to be on April 11th. The artist known as Terribly Odd will be showing his pieces, uh, 16 new pieces called Terribly Audio, his representations and sketches on uh, musical groups uh, in the last 20 years or so. Uh, more of an 80s feel. But he is going to be showing the works. They'll be uh, at Uberbot, and the sale of the works will be going on that day at Uberbot, and then sales that night at uberbotonline.com. There are some great works in the two to three hundred dollar price range. Uh, Terribly Odd will be also showing at 1988 Gallery later in the year, as well as uh, at 47 Clothing, which is a 47 spelled out clothing store in Orlando. He has some exclusives at both Uberbot as well as Baird and Bird. That is terribly small, which you can take a look at as well at terriblyodd.com in his Flickr page. So I think it's a great opportunity to own a great piece of artwork from an up-and-coming artist, and I recommend everyone to go out. Uberbot's got some great other events going on. Uh, the Shat Show will be a show to commemorate William Shatner and talking about his body of work and through art. And then also Faces is going to be another uh, show that will be going on after Terribly Odd in April, or June, I should say, um, where facial expressions for the local artists to take pictures and put, submit into uh, Uberbot. So it's great seeing you guys. Hope you keep up the great work, and hopefully you'll be able to put this on and to let people know what's happening uh, for Terribly Odd in the Central Florida area as well as his entrance into a larger mainstream America, especially West Coast. So he'll be coming out your way shortly. So thank you and take care. Again, this is Jack from Central Florida. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Jack, for calling in with all that information about Terribly Odd. I love it. So that was terriblyodd.com for more info on where his art will be. And the Shat Show, that's just a funny name. Good name, Shat Show. Actually, I saw some pieces from that. It looked, looked pretty funny. Cool. Also coming up, Kaiju Blasphemy. Ping. Group show of customized goddamnits at Kaiju X3 in Phoenix, Arizona, starting April 3rd. Killgraffiti.com for more info on that. Or myspace.com slash killgraffiti. If the other website is down. Which it may be. Which sometimes it is. There's a huge list of artists on this one, though. So, uh, there is a couple. Uh, Frank Kozik, Wanda Spoons, La Merde, Brian Flynn, O'Neill Design. Kill. Oh, Kill's going to do one? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Suck Lord. Mark Nagata. Uh, Foo. October Toys. I hear they're awesome. Uh, Drill One. Rusted Halo. Sarah Jo Marks. So there we go. Squidnik. There's everybody. Tons everybody's of names. Everybody's in this show. Also coming up, a custom mutt show. Group show featuring lots of custom mutts at APW Gallery in New York City, New York, starting April 3rd. MySpace.com slash MuttToy. <laughs> There's a lot of T's in there. you got to make sure they know it all. Attack of Illazilla. Group show of customized Illazillas at Meltdown Comics in Los Angeles, California on April 4th. Check out MySpace.com slash Illazilla. Humans beware! IWG Custom Show featuring over 70 artists at Rocket World in San Francisco, California from April 10th to June 6th. Blue77gallery.com Blue slash shows slash IWG. Uh, it's a very cool space. We got to visit it a couple months ago mm -hmm. um, for the first time. So if you haven't been there, it's a good chance to go check it out. Very cool space, cool store. Uh, it's going to be a good show. 70 artists plus. The show is growing. If you want to follow the progress, you should follow Drill One on Twitter, at Drill One. He's what, always talk, talking about means. what's going on. What's this Twitter you speak of? <laughs> or how, you could follow me at, at SpookyAMD. How about The Resin Collective? <laughs> at The Resin Collective. You could follow that too. I'm not, you no, can't really. that is at Red Hot Robot. <laughs> Can you follow at Red Hot Robot? Yes, they are on How Twitter. about the Resin Collective at Red Hot Robot? <laughs> Handcast figures from around the globe at Red Hot Robot in Phoenix, Arizona from April 11th to May 9th, redhotrobot.net. You know what we forgot to mention? What did we forget um, to mention? At Red Hot Robot. Oh. I don't know, a little bit ago on one of our toy breaks was a Squishy Pig. Squishy Pig. 
that you can throw and it'll... <laughs> well, Red Hot Robot, we just found out as we went to the store the other day, has those squishy pigs. People have asked us many, many times, where do I get that great squishy pig? Well, we ordered ours from, straight from Japan from a friend, Taka. Thank it's you. It's the only place we knew to get and them. And it was the only place we knew to get them. We were like, go to Japan or get your friend Taka who lives there to get it for you. <laughs> Everybody make friends with Taka. <laughs> um, but okay. now... You can go a lot closer. You can go to Phoenix, Arizona to Red Hot Robot. Or hopefully at redhotrobot.net. Hopefully he will yes. have them up soon. And you can get your very own squishy pig. And actually he has a lot more colors. Yeah, we only knew like the one color, but he's got... Gold and black, black and green gold. and pink and yeah. purple and silver. All sorts of colors. And these ones are actually funny because they have little legs. This is like the real version. Ours was like kind of a bootleg, I think. But, but it does like, the exact same thing with yeah. the squishing and the being a pig and the squishing it does, pig. It does the being a pig part quite so, well. And, best part, I believe they're $3. It's like three bucks or something like that. You cannot beat this. So well, you can beat it because it's a squishy pig. You can beat it. But with make sure a stick. You keep, it in your, keep it in its wrapper so it doesn't lose its stickiness. Yeah. And don't leave it on anything that could absorb oil for a long period of time. It may leach oil. But it's still fun and you can squish it on. So while you're going to the Resin Collective, pick yourself up a $3 squishy pig. It's worth it. You'll have tons of fun. Done. Next. Next up, Fangoria Weekend of Horrors. Bam. Horrors, not whores. Not Weekend of Horrors. That's a different... That's a different convention that comes to LA that's also. in January, <laughs> I think. So, Fangoria Weekend of Horrors. It's a ghoulish gathering of horror-related guests, exhibitors, and events at the Los Angeles Convention Center in Los Angeles, California. That's convenient. From April 17th to April 19th. You can go to Fangoria.com for more info. And the reason we're talking about this is because we, October Toys, will be vending... At Fangoria, we will have our zombies. Ooh. Our very first Fangoria that we're vending yes, at. I'm very excited. Actually, it's my first one that I've technically ever been to. Uh oh. Well, there so, you go. I'm very excited. Tons of great horror guests are there Sam Raimi, Toby horror Hooper, guests? Clive Barker, Doug, Bar Doug Bradley, the original Pinhead, Thomas Jane from Punisher, nice. and other movies like The Sweetest Thing. Visit Thomas Jane before <laughs> they remake The Punisher. Um, if you'd like to save $5, by going to this Fango show, uh, let us know. We'll send you one of these cards. Uh, $5 off any single day general admission ticket purchased at the door with this flyer. Um, if you're going to the show, meet us there before you pay for your ticket, and I'll come out and give you one of these or something like that. Just I let don't us know. know. We'll figure out a way to get you, you one. You could call the Toy Break voicemail line at 818 Am I Good and let us know. You could email us at info at toybreak.com and let us know. You could tell us on the forums. That you're coming. There's so many ways to. You could Twitter me at SpookyAMD. So come see us at the Fango Show. Yeah, I'm excited. That's it. Episode 71. Don't forget at the bottom of ToyBreak.com, underneath the show notes, are some affiliates of ours. Click on their links, buy stuff from their sites. Somehow that helps us. There's things <laughs> like Adagio Tees, mm, iTunes, Rift Tracks, Netflix. Jello skins, get your laptop to look like that, or other cool art things on it. Also, don't forget to save money with Toy Break. Just use the coupon code Toy Break, all one word, at 3DRetro.com, FunkRush.com, and OctoberToys.com for 20% off. Like I said, visit our uh, page, our page at ToyBreak.com. That's the one. <laughs> for show notes and to watch past shows and to join the contest in the forum, leave a voicemail at 818-AMI-GOOD. Email us at info at toybreak.com. Check out our toy briefs at youtube.com slash toybreak. And now, here's your toy break.